we have another unboxing and first impressions to do, people. I don't half look after you lot. Stay tuned to find out what it is. good youtube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel my name is mike michael mikey clone and if you tuned in thank you for doing so people if you like content about fragrances unboxings first impressions and just general reviews on fragrances subscribe to my channel if you like the video like if you dislike still like press the bell so it notifies you when i upload a video i thought i just had to get that in there because i'll rarely ever say that so I've said it, all right? Right, you see the intro. This is an unboxing, but this is a tester that I picked up. So it hasn't come wrapped. I haven't sprayed this. I don't know what it smells like. It is coming from the house of Nobile 1942. And this is Sandel Nobile. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is how the box come. That you can see it didn't come wrapped it literally come like this it come in another box opened that box and this was inside of it like i say this is a tester i haven't sprayed it so we are doing this together i ordered this from a website called beauty now and i'm just going to say it, this is not a promotion video or pay promotion they do they they've got quite a good range of niche fragrances and they have some great prices, especially if you can pick a tester up. Because obviously, as you know, testers are always cheaper. Hence why I picked this one up. But we're just going to open it up, spray it and see what we get. Obviously, with the name being Sandal, I would have thought there's definitely sandalwood in this. So that's, the, that's just the box. That's just a tester box. Look at that gorgeous bottle, look. Look at that, this is 75ml bottle, other perfume concentration. I've just clocked sank in the corner of my eye. The notes are on the back of this, and I ain't looking. I wanna do this blind, so to speak. So look, I'll show you the back of the bottle, but I ain't looking. Right, let's spray this. Nice weighty cap with a plastic insert, solid metal, and you have the name of the house across the collar of the cap. I don't know if you can see that. But people, it's about the juice. So let's spray this. Okay, that test strip seen better days. Right, I didn't have to prime that. So I don't know if that has been used a little bit. I mean, I know bottles don't come completely full up, but I don't know if that's had a few mil taken out of it. I don't know. I got it for a great price anyway. Oh, I can smell it. Creamy sandalwood. I love creamy sandalwood. It is just, it's a great note. To me, it is anyway. Right. Creamy sandalwood, obviously a little bit woodsy. There's a butteriness to this fragrance. Iris, right. Creamy sandalwood, buttery iris. There's a green tinge to this. Ever so slightly powdery, like really, really slightly powdery. So if you're afraid or don't like powdery fragrances, you'll be fine with this. This has definitely got iris in it. It's creamy, it's smooth along with that sandalwood. Obviously there's a woodsy tone to this. There's a greenness to it, plus there's a little bit of spiciness to it, like a little bit of spice thrown in there. Man, this is good. This is good. This is going on skin. Let's see what it Let's see how it reacts on skin. This is a very, very, very smooth fragrance. I mean, 
I love the look of that bottle. I think this house has been around for years and I don't really see many people talk about this house. I don't know if, I don't even know how old this fragrance is. I don't know if it come out last year. I don't know if it's 10 years old. I really don't know. I didn't really look into it. It was the name, because I like sandalwood fragrances. I love Irish fragrances. It was the name that made me choose it. And sometimes I love going into a fragrance completely blind. I really do. That this definitely have a, has iris in it. I can't get my words out. That iris is so buttery, along with that creamy sandalwood, ever so slightly powdery. There is definitely something green in this fragrance, along with a little bit of spice. Man, this is good. Right, I'm gonna look. I don't even have to look up the notes because the notes are on the back of the bottle. I suppose as it's a tester, I didn't even think about that to be honest with you. Right. Top notes, saffron cumin seeds. Middle notes, we have iris fig wood. Maybe the greenness is coming from there. Gurgeon balsam, That's, that might be coming from there, the greenness. I think that goes a little bit spicy as well. Plus with the saffron. You've got sandalwood, benzo, siam benzoin, white musk. Yeah, it's a, little, a tad musky and cedarwood. So it is, it's a woodsy, creamy, a little bit spicy, a tad green, smooth, ever so smooth fragrance. This is an absolute beauty. It really, really is, Pete. Well, you need to let me know if you've tried this fragrance or if you've tried any from their house. I only know, own another one from their house and that is Ambra, look. And that is a nice, very nice fragrance, that is. And this one, it's, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, it's not projecting like crazy. I think this is gonna be more of a close encounter fragrance. But man, this is smelling so good. From me just testing this, I love this. This is, gonna, this is the type of fragrance that I enjoy with the iris in there and that sandalwood. I think they go so well together. The way this is so smooth. There's nothing, it ain't loud. But man, this is a nice smelling fragrance. It really, really is. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I really am. I mean, that is happy days for me. That is a win-win. Right, this is definitely unisex. There is nothing too masculine about this, and I don't think it goes too feminine. So I think both sexes could pull this off easy. Where would I wear this? This would be on nice on a night out, if you're snuggling up with your other half at home. I think this is quite, this would be quite a versatile fragrance. I think, because it's not loud, or at the minute it's not loud, I think you could wear this to the office. I think it's quite a versatile fragrance. I mean, it ain't coming off too heavy, so I, I would probably wear this. Definitely in the uh, winter and spring, but where it don't seem too heavy, I think you could probably wear this in the summer as well because you've got that green tinge in there. Oh man, this is good. This is good. Right, Peter, well, sorry if I was waffling at the end. Let me know if you've tried any from this house. Thank you for sticking with me, people. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And this is my scent of the day. 100% I am spraying that up. See you on the next one.